today we will learn about non homogeneous recurrence relation the non homogeneous recurrence relations can be defined as an plus c1 an minus 1 first order equal to some function fn n is greater than equal to 1 or second order non homogeneous recurrence relation an plus c1 an minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 equals to f of n where n is greater than equal to 2. If f n equals to 0 then we call the recurrence relation as homogeneous recurrence relation. Homogeneous recurrence relation but in this case in case of non homogeneous recurrence relation c1 is not equal to 0 c2 is not equal to 0 and fn is not equal to 0 identically zero. there are very general methods to solve the non homogeneous recurrence relation but today we will we we'll learn about a technique method of undetermined coefficient. In this method, the general solution of non homogeneous recurrence relation consists of two parts homogeneous part and particular solution. That means the solution of non homogeneous recurrence relation is written as. ENH with this stands for homogeneous solution and ANP and it stands for particular solution. The homogeneous solution depends upon AN plus C1 an minus 1 plus c2 an minus 2 whereas the particular solution can be obtained according to the function fn so first of all we will solve a simple example our next example is to solve non homogeneous recurrence solution an minus 3 an minus 1 equals to 5 7 raised to power n where n is greater than 1 and initial condition a naught equals to 2. So first of all the associated homogeneous solution will be c 3 raised to power n. We solved it in our previous lecture. Now to solve the particular solution, to solve particular solution, A and P. Since it is given that Fn equals to 5 into 7 raised to power n, therefore we seek a particular solution of type A and P equals to some constant a into 7 raised to power n. Now as this particular solution is to be solution of is to be solution of non homogeneous recurrence relation a n minus 3 a n minus 1 5 7 n that means it will satisfy this recurrence relation. So, put this particular solution into this recurrence relation, we get a 7 raised to power n minus 3 a 7 raised to power n minus 1 equals to 5 7 raised to power n, where n is greater than or equal to 1. Dividing by 
7 raised to the power n minus 1, we will get the general solution as 7 a minus 3 a equal to 5 into 7. So, this implies the value of a is equal to 35 by 4 and hence the particular solution will be 35 by 4 into 7 raised to power so, the complete journal solution is 7 is equals to C3 raised to power n plus 5 by 4, 7 raised to power n plus 1 with condition A0 equals to 2. That means C equals to minus 27 by 4. So, we have A n equal to 5 by 4, 7 raised to power n plus 1 minus 1 by 4, 3 raised to power n plus 3. Our next example for non-homogeneous recurrence relation is a n minus 3 a n minus 1, 5 into 3 raised to power n n is greater than or equal to 1 and initial condition a not equal to 2. So, as same previous in the previous example the homogeneous solution is c into 3 raised to power n and the function f n in this example is 5 into 3 raised to power n. As we know that for a solution general solution of non-homogeneous recurrence relation the general solution is the linear combination of independent solution, linearly independent solution. But here, homogeneous solution and function f n both are linearly dependent. So, instead of choosing particular solution equals to some constant b into 3 raised to power n here we have to choose a next, next independent solution which is independent from homogeneous part so our particular solution will be b into n into 3 raised to power n so substitution substituting particular solution in recurrence relation we have b n 3 raised to power n minus 3 b n minus 1 3 raised to power n minus 1 equals to 5 into 3 raised to power n divide this equation by 3 raised to power n we get b n minus b n minus 1 equals to 5. So, we get b equal to 5. Therefore, the main solution is sum of homogeneous part and particular solution that is equals to c plus 5 n 3 raised to power n. Now, with initial condition a not equal to 2, we have 2 equals to c and therefore we get a n equals to 2 plus 5 n into 3 raised to power 